I'd like to welcome everybody to our video on the SL27 school laminator. We're going to show you how to properly load laminating film and thread it through the machine and also talk about the basic operation, the controls, and the features of the machine that are available on the SL27. You'll notice that there are two mandrels on the machine, a top and a bottom mandrel. They are color-coded and matched for proper position. Red on the top, blue on the bottom. To load laminating film onto the mandrel, you remove it from the machine, and you insert the mandrel into the laminating film so that the dull adhesive side of the laminating film will unroll and be away from the heat source. The shiny side of the laminating film will go up against the heat shoe. The mandrel is inserted into the roll of film to the cork clip and then rotate counterclockwise on the top until they're equal portions of the mandrel protruding out the left and right sides that can be mounted into the laminator itself. And that's our top roll. The bottom roll is done very similarly. Again, we are looking at a dull adhesive side of the laminating film that will be away from the heat shoe the shiny side of the laminating film against the heat shoe, the film unwinding off of the bottom of the roll. We take our mandrel, insert it, and then rotate in a clockwise direction for the bottom to where there's equal portions of the mandrel protruding from both the left and right sides, and then mount it into the machine. For continued threading, the bottom roll of film has an idler bar, which you thread the film underneath, and pull until even. Then we can gently back the film onto the roll. And then to thread the machine, we are going to slightly overlap the films, like so. Take our threading card, insert it into the nip opening of the laminator, and then advance the film through. The threading card will continue to come through the laminator. We'll run this until the laminating film clarifies and all of the wrinkles have disappeared. And then we can stop the advancement of the film web, take our cutting knife, and cut it loose. As the laminator heats up, the heat is transferred through the laminating film and the dull adhesive side begins to clarify which you can see on the heat shoes. When at proper operating temperature, we'll make some additional adjustments here. But first, we'll feed some of the laminating film through. And we'll watch for the film to start to clarify and even out across the shoe. Any wrinkling that might occur can be adjusted by using the brake tension controls located on the bottom mandrel and the top mandrel. Rotating those clockwise will slightly increase unwind tension and that can help smooth the laminating film on the surface of the heat shoe. What we're looking for is the film to be clear and smooth, free of wrinkles, on the heat shoe. As the film exits the back of the laminator, it should be clean, clear, and free of wrinkles. The Threading of the laminator is now complete. We can place our feed tray into position. 
and we're ready to laminate. I want to talk about the controls on the laminator. There is a heat switch that when turned on will glow red and let you know that the machine is providing heat to the heat shoes. There's a control for the advancement of the film web through the laminator. A forward position, a neutral position, stop, and a reverse that will reverse the direction of the laminating film in case you have a jam, but will only operate if you hold the switch in position. It is a momentary switch and will only operate while holding it down. The SL27 laminator has a key switch with a locked and an unlocked position. In the locked position, the laminator will still heat. However, it is not possible to advance the web through the laminator, either forwards or in reverse, in the locked position. Rotating to the unlocked position will allow you to advance the film through the laminator or reverse the film in case of a jam. On the left side of the laminator is a temperature indicator thermometer that will tell you where you are operating at temperature wise. Typically a school grade laminating film will run between 275 and 300 degrees. There is also an adjustment knob for either raising or lowering the temperature. On the right side of the laminator are brake control switches or brake control knobs to adjust the unwind tension to allow your film to run through the laminator wrinkle free. Simply to increase tension, you rotate in a clockwise fashion. To decrease tension, you rotate in a counterclockwise fashion. The same for the bottom, clockwise for increased tension, counterclockwise for decreased tension. Also, you can adjust the curl in your laminating film. If you're getting an upward curl or a downward curl, you can counteract that by adjusting the appropriate tension control knobs to either increase tension or decrease tension to create a flat sheet.